Why do we cry? Is there an evolutionary or biological purpose? When we break up with our lovers, when someone has died, when we fight with our friends, when we lose our jobs, or even out of happiness, humans cry to express these emotions. Humans differentiate from animals in the unique way that we express emotion through shedding tears. Tears? Yes, tears. A salty fluid filled with protein, water, oil, and mucus. It is released from the lacrimal gland in the upper outer region of your eye. Once the tear is released, it flows down your face, but shedding tears isn't always caused by emotions. There are three different types of tears, basal, reflex, and emotional. Basal tears are always present in our eyes for lubrication. We produce about 5 to 10 ounces of basal tears each day. These tears help our eyes from drying out completely, and reflex tears serve to protect the human eye from harsh irritants such as onions or dust. To protect the eye, the sensory nerves in your cornea communicate this irritation to your brainstem, which in turn sends hormones to the glands in the eyelids. These hormones cause the eyes to produce tears, effectively ridding them of the irritating substance. But emotional tears are a response to physical or emotional pain. Evolutionary psychologists believe crying evolved as a strong emotional cue, or a signal to others that you are in pain, sad, or need help which also increases your chance of survival. Especially before we developed language, those who cried and felt empathy when others cry might have had an evolutionary advantage. Perhaps criers helped bonded communities, groups, and helped build a social support. Since tears are only visible close up, they may only be for friends to see and not enemies. The lacrimal gland, an almond-shaped gland just over each eyelid that produces tears, which then flow into a canal that leads to the lacrimal sac, which drains through a passage into the nose. The lacrimal gland has a connection to the limbic system, which deals with emotions. It all starts in the cerebrum, where sadness is registered. The endocrine system is then triggered to release hormones to the ocular area, which then causes tears to form. Tears of happiness are also used as social signals, and both emotions, sadness, and happiness see activity in similar regions in the brain, the hypothalamus and the basal ganglia which happen to be connected to your tear gland. A study collected reflex tears and emotional tears, and scientists analyzed the content of the tears. Reflex tears are about 98% water, whereas emotional tears have chemicals present like prolactin and adrenocultotropic hormones. Scientists believe that crying relieves your stress, which is what adrenocultotropic hormones in leucine and kefalin do. Adrenocultotropic indicates high stress levels, and lucerin and kefalin is an endorphin that reduces pain and works to improve moods. Well, that's the physiology of crying, so go ahead and have a good cry.